Hello everyone, Madison here and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I will be doing a Q&A. Um, if you haven't watched my Q&A from last month, I'm basically pre-recording all my um, Q&As. So then I'm more likely to, you know, essentially get through them. And because I've pre-recorded all my Q&As, I can then pre-record every every other video that i want to and yeah um so yeah again this might have to be in separate videos um i might have to make another video because as my questions stand now i'm on 838 questions well a questions just come in and i get questions every single day but um yeah let's get started excuse me what was the last book i read i last read dangerous boys do i lie often no only you know when necessary well lying is never necessary anyway but yeah what do I spend what do I like spending my money on the most? Useless things basically. Um I got these if you haven't seen my TikTok, I got re I explained that I got these chicken things, like chicken key rings. Um so it's a, obviously a chicken and you squeeze the stomach and it has an egg that pops out. It obviously is attached to the chicken. So I let go and then it go, goes back in. Um, when and where was your first date? Never been on a date. What do I, how do I feel when a woman pays for more when dating? Essentially, you've got to pay your efforts because I think, I personally think it goes both ways. You pay half and half for everything. Or you or for example like um it's either you pay half and half or say if there was two people, person one pays for the meal that night, then person two pays for the meal the next time they go to a restaurant, if that makes sense. And um so with my I go with my friend to the cinema when we sort of like meet up and just go to the cinema to watch like new movies just for a general meet up and my friend buys the tickets i buy the snacks to my friend if you're watching this you know who you are you are hello um but yeah um when should people get their driving driver's license as AP because I'm learning to drive at the moment and when you learn when you can drive it's so much freedom um what did you need more from today well every day I need more hours I feel like anyway what's your snapchat it's in my bio and on my app because I've got a tell on me app and it's in my bio on there, in the description on this video. But if you're a weirdo, then I'm blocking you. And, yeah. Opinion on people who betray their friends. I put, if you can see, those emojis. It's basically the orange angry face. Like, the emoji of them being sick. And the green face emoji. I'll try and show you again. You can see the gist of them anyway. But, yeah. Do you prefer being outdoors or indoors? A bit of both, to be honest. Depends how I'm feeling. Is marriage necessary to you? Yeah, I, I feel like it is anyway. When you go to McDonald's, what do you eat? Right. Um... I get the triple cheeseburger, mozzarella sticks, small fries, and those cheese, cheesy bite things, like nacho cheese bites. 
And then for a drink, it's either a large Diet Coke, large Sprite, or a large strawberry milkshake. How do I notice that someone is interested in me? I don't, and I'm really sorry if you have shown that you're interested in me in the past, but I am that oblivious. What do you think about people that wear fake eyelashes? I don't really care. Like... Again, some people wear them for style, and that's just their style, whereas fake eyelashes isn't my style. How do you think is a good way to break up with someone? Face-to-face -face and wholeheartedly. I know I can't say that from experience because I have broken up with two boys over the phone. One was over Twitter, back when Twitter was a thing, and one over Snapchat. And I do apologise for how I, you know, broke up with you guys. But, yeah, it is what it is. Opinion on women that drive big cars. People can drive what they want. Like, my mum my mom has a big car. Doesn't phase us. It just means we can fit more people in the car. Obviously not now because of COVID. But, you know, get the idea. Have you ever been in a situation where you and a friend were out someplace with family and you were dying for, you know, the toilet, but the toilets that were there were closed? Yeah. Basically, um, I was going down to either Plymouth or Portsmouth, I can't remember. It's with Girl Guides. Uh... My other friend who was there, she, she will remember this, probably anyway. And um, we were going down by coach and it it took us forever because of like traffic. It took us nearly like, what, three, four hours because of traffic and because of diversions and all this. And I woke up at seven, ready to leave for half seven. And I didn't go to go to the toilet beforehand and I was basically dying to go to the toilet and we got there around 10 half 10 half 11 ish and so I was just sat there I must have been 13 14 years old I was just sat there dying to wee and we had this talk for like an hour, hour, an hour or hour and a half. And um, I so before we actually went in for this talk, they said if you need the toilet, go now. I didn't hear him say that. So there's me dying for a wee. It's been what like what six hours since I was able to go for a wee, and it just really killed. Um, is there a country you would never want to go to? Not sure, really. Which of your friends would be cute together? Don't know. Do you think it's strange to be afraid of dogs? I used to be afraid of dogs, but... There are some dogs that can be really vicious. I'm not, I'm not trying to hint there's any breed, because there's no type of breed that's the most dangerous all breeds of dogs can be dangerous and yes like cats can be dangerous all animals can be dangerous it's just how you treat them and how they retaliate but yeah i used to be afraid of dogs fun fact are you currently happy um this is going to be deep but no i'm not and i don't want to you know, speak about it, so I try and cover my feelings up, which I know I shouldn't, but you know. Next question. Tell me, what would be the most annoying thing about having you as a roommate? Um, I get peed off with people quite easily and quite quickly. Like, I don't know if you've, anyone seen Friends, but... Most of my friends say I'm the moniker of the group. and it, oh, But yeah, I need to stop about that. 
Um, do I prefer PlayStation or Xbox? I've never played Xbox, so I will say a really biased answer. But an Xbox should be coming out so coming to me soon. Or oh, I say that. But an Xbox, well, I'm wording it a bit better. An Xbox is on the cards. What do you think your future is gonna look like? Um, it's gonna go pretty all right, but pretty rubbish at the same time. If that makes sense. Like I, I up here in my head, I feel like I've got my head screwed on, but it's how it performs and how I perform it. If that makes sense. Your opinion on men not crying or showing emotion to all the men who don't cry or show emotions because of those stereotypes it's okay you can show emotion because you have those emotions and emotions for you are valid just as much as females are like well just as much as everyone else's are should i say and to be honest, it's not a shine sign saying you're weak. It's a sign of strength. And crying doesn't mean you're weak. It means you've been strong for an awfully long time. Like, yeah. Because, and your feelings need to be valued more. And me as a person, I will 100% support you. You can always come to me and tell me how you feel. I will, you know, support you. My DMs are always open. What is my clothes size? I am not saying that. Uh, your opinion on jealousy in relationships? It depends how, really. Like, jealousy of, of another female or another person outside the relationship then it's quite quite a, it's a little bit hard i don't know how but jealousy say for example you you're playing a game with your partner like on an xbox or playstation or like computer whatever and your partner is good and you've only just learned how to play and you get jealous that he's so good, he, she, or them are so good, then, yeah, I can understand that. I can understand all jealousy, basically. Um, how would your parents describe you? Basically, the middle child on crack. Jokes. Um, I'm probably, they'll pro they probably explain me as the wish version of my older sister's. My older sisters watch my um, YouTube videos. I don't know if they're watching this one, but hi. Dad says I'm the wish version of you. Like, I suppose that compliment is good on their behalf. But I know it's a joke anyway. But, um, yeah... The reason why I said that I'm the middle child is because um, I have two older sisters and two younger siblings. I say siblings. I've got a younger brother, a younger sister. And um, yeah, I'm just in the middle. Do you have any plants in your room? No, because um, the only place I can put them is on my middle table. I have in between, where that lamp is, you can see the top of that Pixar lamp there. And um, so, again, I'm going to mention it again. You're probably sick and tired of me mentioning it. But I share a room with my sister. If we put a plant on that table, we're going to risk the fact that it could be all over the floor, soil, everything. Because I, I like to fling myself about when I'm asleep. Like, this morning I woke up with my duvet on the floor, so I wouldn't risk having plants in my room. Maybe if they were, like on a shelf f far away from my bed then yes what do you think about guys who wear makeup they can do what they they like because some some people 
wear makeup because again it interests them and it's their style I can't complain if it's their style and what they enjoy if they enjoy and they have a smile on their face that's all that really matters are you a responsible person I would say so what animals do I like the most goats I don't know why they can be they can be sodden vicious but you know Sometimes people open fake accounts to stalk others. What do you think about that? I don't understand why people do it, to be honest with you. Would you rather call someone or send a text? I would much rather send a text. Is it important for your partner to have a good job? And if so, why? My partner doesn't need a good job. He just needs a job. Um, the reason why I said my partner as I'm like, he, I'm straight and I'll only ever date guys, if that makes sense. Um, what is my height? Five foot one. I am very short, I know. Ever worn dolly shoes? Yes. Um, I refer to them as slip-ons basically and they were my school shoes. How ticklish would I say... I am. Meh. I used to be very ticklish, but now I think it's gotten better. What would I say was my three most ticklish spots? Just my feet. Do you own dolly shoes? What would you would suit them? You should wear them more. Um, I only wear school ones. I prefer shoes that are laced up. Um. Basically, I got a comment saying you'd suit Dolly's shoes, you should wear them more. So I said thanks. Last one. Um, what was your outfit for that day? Grey joggers and a white t-shirt. So that's, the, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, um, I'll be pre-recording next month's one as well. Um, you guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new and I shall catch you later. Bye!